Hello everyone, uh, Will here with my flea market finds for uh, September 24th, 25th, uh, 2011. Um, as you can tell from my voice, I celebrated the beginning of fall by uh, catching a cold. Uh, that's why I didn't make a video yesterday. Uh, wasn't a very good weekend for finds. Uh, kind of rainy. Uh, kept a lot of people from uh, setting up. Um, but I found a couple good things. And... Uh, We'll take a look here. I uh, bought a print. It's a uh, print of an Audubon. Um, Got to look it up. Not really. Uh, not really sure. Uh, haven't haven't uh, looked for the value of uh, of it yet. But uh, Autobahn should do well. Got a uh, nice old lantern here. It's called a Dietz Acme Inspector Lamp. Looks like a railroad piece to me. At least that's what I'm going to sell it as. Um, eight bucks. Not too bad. In decent shape. Uh, got a couple of rust holes in the bottom, but. Uh, Nice little display piece. Uh, the uh, Audubon thing was uh, six but six dollars. What a book, Alice in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. I uh, paid five for this, but copyright 1945. Uh, hopefully, that's the first edition. Haven't looked at it yet. Got a shred pocket knife. Uh, somebody sharpened it to death. Uh, but it was only a buck. Uh, couldn't pass it up for a buck. Harley Davidson purse and uh, wallet with a chain. Uh, paid uh, $4 a piece for these. Uh, pretty happy with that deal. Harley stuff, uh, it's, it's expensive and a lot of people's looks looking for it. A nice little watch here, uh, Hellbros. It's not gold or anything, it's gold filled, but uh, nice watch, looks good, paid $4 for it. A uh, vintage box of uh, 25 caliber ammo, full box. Uh, that was seven. Um, don't know. Uh, definitely make some money on it. Uh, I imagine you can't. I don't think you can get this caliber anymore. So probably somebody out there with the 25 uh, looking for ammo. Got this guy. He's a uh, paper mache. Had a couple little condition problems. Uh, Mark Trico had to pay 10 for him and uh, but I've never seen one this size before I've seen the smaller ones but he's a pretty good size um, so you gotta do a little research on him got a uh, vintage recoil pad uh, that was two bucks Nice having a box for it. Got a box of uh, fishing lures, all sorts of nice lures in here. Um, I'm going to end up keeping the bulk of these. Um, I think this one would have been really good if he'd have his legs on him, floating on top of the water, and his little rubber legs kind of float around. Uh, I think he would have been worth something if uh, condition would have been better. Um, this is an odd one there. Another top water, I guess. Um, bought a gun, and it, it's in sad, sad shape. Um, Ten dollars I paid for this thing. Uh, missing the trigger guard, missing the internals. Yeah, it's been broken. Try to been re-glued. It's got a date October 30th, 1894 on it. 
but um, pretty bad. I do have a plan for this thing. Um, I got a plan in a video on uh, the weapon spin on other channel. Um, keep an eye on that, and uh, I'll go over with why I bought a piece of junk gun. That uh, really will. This will never fire again. That's for sure. Um, and I got this guy. A hey, uh, he's a black bear. Black bear skin. Um, he was fifteen dollars. It's in good shape. Um, I'm not too big on taxidermy stuff because the laws can be uh, tricky if you don't know them. Uh, like here in Maryland, it is very hard to sell anything taxidermy. Um, you can sell stuff like uh, stuffed raccoons and foxes, and but no kind of birds, no kind of deer, uh, no black bear. Um, you really got to be careful. You can get into a lot of trouble. Uh, but this was only fifteen dollars. Um, can't sell it on eBay, I don't think. I may have to go on bro Gun Broker. But uh, uh, keep that in mind when you look at uh, taxidermy. When you're picking taxidermy. Um, then we come to my what I think is my best find. This is a watercolor. Um, bought this from a dealer and couldn't believe that they only wanted a dollar for it. Um, nice little scene, a little bit of condition problems, but uh, nothing too bad. Signed down here E. Styring. Um, turns out that this is um, Elizabeth Styring. Uh, she was born in uh, 1870 and died in 1946. Um, she uh, pretty good uh, pretty good artist from what I could tell. Um, haven't been able to nail down a value but uh, for a dollar I know I'm definitely going to do well on this. Um, uh, when I saw it, I first thing I saw was I saw that it was watercolor, not a print. And I saw the name, and for a dollar, I mean, how can you go wrong? Um, so I'll have to do a uh, update on this once I find out some more information. Uh, so that's it. Not much to look at this week. Got a lot of sales next week. Um, hopefully my voice will be a little better and hopefully I'll have a lot more stuff to show you. So, until then, uh, get out there and do some picking. <laughs>